Well, over the past few weeks, gun shops have been packed with buyers trying to make sure that they can get the firearm that they want before any more restrictions are put into place in the state. And when this news broke this afternoon of a possible deal down at the state capitol, those shops became even busier. Jennifer Lukey spoke with some of those folks looking to buy out there. She joins us now live from our newsroom. And Jen, those folks now in an even bigger hurry tonight. Yeah, Dory, they really are. I mean, you know, I called around to pretty much every gun shop in the area today, and most of the store owners told me that they're packed. They are selling a record number of guns. They've been busy since talk of gun control on both a national and state level took center stage following the tragedy at Sandy Hook. But today, most of them are swamped. Those looking to buy tell me they're worried about their Second Amendment rights, and they want to make sure that they've taken ownership of whatever firearm they want before any new regulations go into effect so that the gun or in some cases guns will be grandfathered in. There is some talk of a registry for those who currently own what would be considered an assault weapon if this legislation passes. The gun owners I spoke with today are not at all happy about that either. The Second Amendment was never intended to be uh, the right to hunt deer. It was the right to defend your family against uh, any threat even from your inside of your own government. Um, so it's really being misconstrued uh, because of the tragedies that have been happening now. If I have to sell my third vehicle just so I can get a couple of guns before the ban goes into effect, that's, that's something I'm thinking about doing. Um, but it's, uh, you want to do it before, before you lose it. When they start going that far because one or two ignorant, evil people to do something as horrific as kill those kids, when I heard that report, I cried. It didn't make me want to give up my guns. It wanted me to see that people are controlled more than the guns. And with gun owners, that's really always a constant concern. What's next? How far will the restrictions go? Not just this time, but next time. Many of the store owners are part of trade organizations that are lobbying on their behalf at the Capitol right now. Obviously, they are watching what is going on very closely. Live in the newsroom tonight, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News.